Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have an uh, amazing and beautiful Beth uh, with us. Uh, Beth uh, model at the Kent Gray production that we had a few months ago at this uh, YouTube space. And uh, Beth also model a couple of times with Cinder and uh, some other uh, folks with us. This is the first time Beth will model my collection and uh, work with me as in the fashion world directly. Uh, and we will actually will try to make a little commercial tonight with the bath uh, when she will uh, pretend to be, uh, well, she is a dog owner and she will have a little uh, fun commercial when she pretend, like her hair will grow and like she'll get some mustache and uh, 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 we'll, we'll see if we can make it funny. Uh, bath, why do you do modeling? Honestly, I've always been an entrepreneur of the entertainment industry, so modeling kind of came naturally. I found a draw to it once my brother, actually, um, Ken Gray's husband, asked me to do a photo shoot one day, and all of a sudden I discovered that I loved it. It was fun. I loved the environment. Everyone becomes a family backstage. Um. If people want to work with you as a model, what would be the best way to reach out? Like your Instagram, perhaps? Most likely Instagram. They can find me at Beth underscore M underscore Donnelly. Um, that's my full name, Beth, B-E-T-H, M as in Marie, Donnelly, D-O-N-N-E-L-L-Y. Messaging me there is the simplest way. What do you think you need to do as a model to go to the next level to get booked 10, $20,000 gigs. What, what's uh, stopping you from working uh, much higher level productions? Nothing's stopping me. It's the environment that you choose to surround yourself with. It's all about networking. I fully believe in manifest destiny. So at the end of the day, if you want to be there and you surround yourself with that thought, you will surely find yourself there. Recently, I found myself at um, modeling agencies and I'm looking to be signed very soon. I'm also looking to be in New York Fashion Week. I've been there two years running in New York Style Fashion Week last year also. Okay. Um, any advice for the inspiring uh, new models? Uh, any mistakes they should not make? There's no better time than the present and everyone should realize that the hardest part is showing up. Getting the gumption and talking yourself into it will always be the hardest part. As soon as you get there, it's most likely going to be fun. Have, like, no one should be nervous about it. Are uh, you getting ton of uh, offers and uh, to model and to be photographed? How do you choose? Why did you say to model today for me, for example? What, why do you, you, you can do, uh, I'm sure we have plenty of offers. How do you choose which, what do you do, why? First of all, I look at the line being designed and I make sure I have a real conversation with the designer. I want to know that I enjoy the person as much as I enjoy the line. I don't believe in surrounding myself in an environment I don't want to be in. So it's very important to me to be comfortable with the people I'm around and understand that someone is going to be talking to me in a business manner more than with underlying, underlying tones of... How can you stay so kind and pleasant and polite? This is a tough industry. People are taking advantage of people and uh, there is a, a lot of backstabbing and stuff. And uh, I see uh, you came twice to, uh, to YouTube when I was filming. And you both times, uh, uh, other when other people left and do whatever they want, you actually carry my bags and help me to unload, unload, which is tough uh, stuff for the guys. And you just uh, uh, roll the sleeves like a you like a you know like a regular normal person. Like I was uh, so usually you know girls are like feels the I'm a diva, I'm a model, I'm I'm far beyond that those things. And and you very very normal. How how can you manage that? Honestly, you have to remember to everyone starts out nice. Expect the best and expect the worst. If you walk into something expecting everyone to be happy and enjoyable, then that will most likely be your outcome. And at the end of the day, everyone has something to teach you. So never 
disrespect someone or burn a bridge as long as you don't have to. And as far as helping you out, I actually work for Lion's Den Productions in Albany, New York. They're a production company that does audio, engineering, and lighting. So I actually have a lot of industry experience with that. So I had no problem hopping in to help you. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Beth, the, on, the only and only one. <laughs> Thank you.